So then the next part is, from a design perspective, is um, linking up all these passageways, right? So we've we've already determined dozens of places where we have passageways crossing the circles. And so now it's a matter of, of linking them up. Um, one of the things that I did on the original rotating labyrinth is I would go through and I said, I'd say, I want every byte to be different, right? And so I might have said, oh yeah, this byte is going to have, oh, a straight through at the 45 and a couple elbows at the corners. Right, and then the byte next to it, I can now make that byte. I don't want to replicate the same behavior in each byte, right? You can see in the original rotating labyrinth where I'm trying to make every byte different. And so maybe in this byte, maybe that one turns around immediately and, and comes in and joins up with with this corner back here. See what I'm saying, right? And then maybe this time these three all come together. And you've got kind of a T situation going on. And when that leaves us an odd man out, well, that's okay because dead ends can be interesting, right? We can put interesting things in dead ends. In fact, what if, instead of it just being a dead end, what if we make this one have kind of a, uh, I was going to try to make it octagonal, but I ran out of room, and that's okay. So kind of a, a half octagon kind of a room, and maybe we put like an altar or something here that the players can interact with when they get to this point. And so on and so forth. I would go around and I would do that to all of these, right? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Singing weird songs. Cause this is just going to take a long time. So uh, this bite, I've decided, I didn't tell you I decided this, but I'm telling you now that this bite was going to have a T right as soon as you come in here. Uh, I, have, I guess I hadn't decided yet. I told you I decided when I really hadn't. Um, yeah, I've decided now. It's going to have a big room. All right, so this whole bite just kind of carries a room around with it. And so it's got all of these passages entering into this same room. And it's okay for some of these bites to be boring. I mean, that bite is super boring, right? Just straight through pass-throughs. And this has just got one big room in it. And that's okay, because we've got how many of these bites, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these bites. And one of them's got its own rotating circle in it. This room, I don't know what I want to do with this room. Um, just from the shape of it, I started thinking that it's going to be like some sort of an like an arena, depending on the scale, it might be large enough for that. Um, right, and so if it's some kind of an arena, then we can have like stadium seating along here. And then, um, like kind of the 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 best seats kind of on this side here, and then you could have you know either like a jousting area or whatever in that space. And then we already put an extra circle in this mouse bite. Maybe we go ahead. This extra circle just isn't that interesting, right? It's going to control how things match up, but but I'm not a fan, a huge fan of the, the only four entrance circles. 
I guess I don't even have any on this because in only four entrances, you've got how many options, right? You've got the option to connect up with one other, right? And so we, what are our options here? We could have these two hook up and these two hook up or any other pairing, right? As long as we don't try to go straight across or we could go straight across and then have the other two be dead ends or we could have a three way and then a dead end. And so I think the most interesting thing here is that the, the pair is okay. Um, I think the most interesting thing for players to be encountering here is probably just going to be to have a dead end option and then two pat and then uh, the, the other three all meeting up together. On this one, I'm going to do it different. I'm going to do probably just the other option, right? The two passages meeting up, or the yeah. The two pairs um, but I think I'll have one of them have like a larger room to it we'll see when we get there and so it's really just about going around to these mouse bites and and filling out how everything connects to each other right um, on this side maybe I'll have um, This passage make like a, a sharp turn to come into here. Join up there, and then this one do that. And then on this side, well, I don't want it to look exactly like that, so maybe what I'll do is I'll sharp turn that one into here. And then maybe this guy's got a I don't know. I think what I'd rather do is sharp turn or kind of gentle turn this one in. Something's not quite lining up about my lines here. Go too fast. That's still taking forever. Are you sure you want to design your own rotating labyrinth? It's not really forever. This would be fine if I wasn't recording, I guess. And then I think maybe to make this one more interesting, I'm going to have kind of a rough wall here that goes back into a crevice back here. And then we could put something back there. That might be interesting. And we just got a lot of these to do, right? Have we done four of the of the ten? And so one thing that, that's a little bit boring that we could do is we could, but you know, we're gonna have some boring ones. I've already said that's okay. Um is we could have this guy. Just kind of mosey on around on both sides of it. I can afford to come up a little more. All right, so I have kind of two, three ways. So to, so this this little chunk's always useful for getting to somewhere else along the same backside that you're already on. And so in my mind, this part is really just about creating a variety of these so that when the players encounter them, that 90 degrees is not even on the 90 degree, right? It's really supposed to be over here. I hope I didn't make that mistake again. So the, the goal here is really just to make it so that as the players are navigating this space that that there's as many unique pieces as possible so that the fact that they've switched out actually matters 
I guess is really what I'm trying to say. So on this one, I'm gonna what? I'm gonna put a door right here. And I guess it's probably double doors. Uh, whether it's a five foot or a ten foot, that's some pretty big doors. And those doors are gonna come into this chamber here. I'm just gonna have doors on this side as well. And we can fit a nice oh three by two chamber there, right? And I think I'll have these kind of spike right through and connect up with this guy. Maybe I should be using a ruler. Maybe I should be taking a little more time. I really just don't want this to take so long that you lose interest. If you're still here, you haven't lost interest yet. That seems like a miracle. Um, this is interesting. So I've already got a room. That's kind of the shape that I'm going to have to make this room here. Um, but I think this is on the other side of that. Yeah. Oh no, it's still on the outside. It's in exactly the same place. Well, you know what? That's actually fun. We could have two altars in the same place. There's a chance that your players find that and think, oh, this is where it's supposed to be. When it, in fact, it's a completely different altar and they are very confused. Um, so that leaves the four mouse bites that are in here because we've already done one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think on this one, I'm just going to make these corners as tight as I can. Get them to, to come in to each other as fast as possible. And kind of leave room in the middle to do a bit of a, a bit of a room. I'm going to make it kind of an odd shaped room for fun. This should be. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah. And in fact, I'm going to put like a little alcove off the side of this one. Just a little alcove. Break up the symmetry a little bit. Symmetry. I go back on back and forth on how much I love symmetry. And those can actually come right into where that crosses the, the boundary. And that's uh that's a room, right? It's fine. And then we got another bite here. And we're, again the goal here is to make the bites as unique as possible from each other. And so I'm looking around at what we've already done. Um I've not done like a middle one that connects to two on one flank. So why not? We'll do that. I think that probably lines up there. Do that. Sweet. So those two line up on the one flank. I don't think I've done that yet. Uh, and then um, then we could make these ones line up too. Uh, just be kind of a reflection. Or we could have them. Um, I'm going to put a room again. I think that left us plenty of room to put a room. All right, it can be kind of a fun shaped room because we got this. 
this long edge down here. And then we can bring it back along this way. And then open it up over on this side. I'm going to open it up kind of like that here. This is kind of a long room. I'll think later about what to put in it. Given the fact that this is already a rotating labyrinth, this is kind of doomed to be kind of a funhouse dungeon, right? That's okay. As you can see in the, the original rotating labyrinth, I uh, tried to avoid making a funhouse dungeon, and that means all there is is the demon in the center and the little demons that he's summoning in, right? That's that's pretty bland as far as as variety goes. So oh, what else can we do, guys? We've got we got our straight throughs. We got a bend around. Oh, we do have a center connected to two flanks already. That's okay. Because this is a center with connected two flanks with them. That's the other thing. Maybe we'll do a center and two flanks where the center is the the inner one. This is this is gonna be the inner one it gets over there, right? Oh that's the outer. Oh. Outer center and two flanks. Outer center, no inner center into flanks. Okay, we have we've done an inner and an outer. Um, it's really just two more of these guys. I'm sure we can figure out something interesting to do with them. Maybe it's not so bad to have duplicates. Uh, go back and forth all day. I don't want this to take all day. We've been going for about an hour. It looks like. Okay, well, here's something we haven't done, where we have some flanks come up through the middle. Right there. And connect over, but don't connect to a middle, right? We, could, we haven't done any full dead ends, right? All of our dead ends have had something in them. So we could do just a full dead end right there. Dead ends don't have a huge payoff in a normal maze, because all they do is they tell you that you went the wrong way. <laughs> um, you could always put something interesting in the dead end. Um, like the rotating labyrinth has a lot of chests and the original rotating labyrinth has a bunch of chests with keys in dead ends. Um, but again, it's the rotating labyrinth. The dead end doesn't have to be interesting either, right? The dead end could be just a dead end and it could come where you didn't expect it to be, right? Um, so this is the, uh, I think what I'll do here is I'll actually have it be a, like a five way. No, I'm going to do a four way and then I'm going to come up with something to put up in there. Yep, right here. I'm being real sloppy with my lines here. I guess it's because I told myself that I was going to clean it up digitally later, which I'm just hoping isn't a great big lie because that would be disappointing. Well, maybe I won't clean it up later because the point of this was to demonstrate, but I still think I'd like to. All right, so we've done a few. We've done a couple of these kind of altar rooms where it was just kind of a half, op half octagon. I'm going to try to use the space a little bit more aggressively on this one. Mm, we got an extra corner out of it. Good job, James. We do it different. That side we kind of round it up a little more. This side we're going to put a door. Just a 
itty bitty closet in it. Doesn't have to be super itty bitty. It could be a pretty decent closet. Door with a closet. <clears throat> and then got one more left. One more. Can make it all dead ends, right? That would be atrocious. Okay. It is what it is. Uh, through the middle is and then. So I'm just going to do one that goes through the middle here. But I'm going to put a door on it. Right, that's something we didn't explore hardly at all. Is having doors off the corridor. So that means that we have a room shaped roughly like that. I don't know why these lines aren't coming together for me today. The fact that it's a room with doors means that I feel like I need to put a door on this one as well. Whatever that looks like. And then we're kind of coming up this way. I think I'm going to cut this guy out and make him just, just a dead end with a, we're going to put a false door on him that leads to nowhere. Those false doors are fun. And maybe it doesn't lead to nowhere. Maybe we, we put like a map on the back side of that door. That could be fun. All right, now we've got a room there. And I'm going to take a break real quick and see if it's recording at all. <laughs> 